Hey guys, welcome back to the Kinwoven Home. I'm Shara, and today we are in my kitchen. It's kind of hard to decorate a kitchen, but there are ways that you can make your kitchen look and feel more beautiful and make it reflect your style. And I'm gonna show you a couple of tips that are pretty quick and inexpensive. And a quick thank you to LG for sponsoring today's video. Before we get started, if you guys have not thumbs up this video, please do so. And if you haven't joined our subscribe fam, be sure to hit subscribe, because we love new subbies. Okay, question of the video is, what was the last meal you ate? Or it could just be like a snack. For me, I just had gushers. Not proud of it, but it happened. Let's get started. Step number one is clean your kitchen. If you guys watch any of my videos, you know I usually start off with this point because it is amazing what cleaning up your space can actually do. So a couple of tips on how to do that. Well, obviously spray down your counters. I think counters, they cover a lot of surface area in your space. So wipe those bad boys down. Do your dishes whenever you're done with a dish. It's ideal to never leave a dish in the sink and always put it in the dishwasher. That's gonna be your easiest bet. If you don't have a dishwasher, wash it by hand. This leads me to talking about dishwashers. Did you see how I did that? In these unique times, it is kind of more important now than ever to keep things really well sanitized, which is one of the things I love the best about my new LG dishwasher because it has true steam technology. Can we talk about the buttons really quickly? Because I used to have a dishwasher that all the buttons were on the outside. No more accidentally turning on my dishwasher. It's an exciting day in this household. You know you're an adult when this kind of stuff gets you excited, can I just say? Okay, so True Steam is this awesome feature. It's really tough on food, but very gentle on your dishware and all of your delicate things in your dishwasher. And it actually is steam that's released and it sanitizes your dishes. It releases one blast of steam that gets the food off. And then the second blast of steam sanitizes your dishes and helps them become virtually spotless. LG True Steam dishwashers are certified by NSF and achieve a minimum of 99.999 reduction of bacteria when operated on the steam cycle. So one of my favorite things about this dishwasher is the Easy Rack Plus. I love it because if I have long stem wine glasses, I can push this rack lower to make it a little bit more spacious for the wine glasses. I can also make it a little bit higher if I have bigger pots and pans. So I can actually fit everything in this dishwasher no matter what I need. Instead of having to play Tetris and fitting everything in and turning it on its side, it actually will fit easily, nicely, and no dishes get left behind. It also has a really smooth glide rail, so it, when you push it in, it almost like catches and pulls it in for you. I really, really, really love when you open the dishwasher, it has its own light system that turns on. It's like a showroom. You open up the dishwasher and it's like, ha. Ah. And last but not least, it has print-proof finish, which honestly is really great. Stainless steel is beautiful, but Sometimes you can get your paw prints all over it, your kids, your babies, your dogs. But this stainless steel finish really resists smudges and you can clean it just with a simple dry cloth. If you guys wanna find out more about LG dishwashers with the True Steam feature, I will link everything below. You guys can check it out and get one for yourself. Okay, back to our video. Number two. My beautiful countertops. You guys know I talk about this a lot, and there's a reason. For us, we had blue dip and dot countertops. They were awful, we're renting, we didn't wanna do anything permanent. So I found this great marble contact paper, and I was a little bit skeptical if it was gonna work in a kitchen because it, you cut on the counter and there's water and all that. I can say it's been about a little bit over a year. This stuff is on as good as it was when I first put it on. When we go to take it off, it's not gonna leave any sticky residue. It's gonna come off perfectly. So it's a great temporary option. And it just makes the whole space just like completely transform. Like it's the number one thing that will make your kitchen look absolutely 100% different. And I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I got it on Amazon. I will link it below for you. One of the things that I also would recommend, if you guys saw the kitchen reveal video I did in my friend's house a couple of years ago, we covered up her backsplash and actually made it look like subway tile with these awesome adhesive subway tile pieces of almost like a jigsaw puzzle. And it looks amazing. For us, we had white square tiles with these beautiful bouquets, which are a little tacky, but 
I look the other way. But for the most part, it's white, so it's nice and clean. So we didn't do it on ours but you can 100% cover up your backsplash if it also is not very cute. You're gonna need a lot, but if you have a couple hundred bucks, it will make a huge difference in your kitchen. And I just can't say enough good things about the contact paper in the kitchen for a temporary solution. It's just gonna make it look so good, so try it. Number three, display beautiful accessories that are also functional. Okay, the first that is most obvious is your sponges. This one we actually have to like bleach the kitchen sink and clean it out, so I do use the traditional ones for that. But for my everyday dishes, this one is neutral, it's organic, I think it's good for the environment. Also things like this. This is a vegetable brush and this it's a brush for your dishes, but look how cute, and it can hang. I'm gonna link some of these things below. I get most of the stuff on Amazon, and it's not that much more expensive than the stuff that you would find at a grocer. Also things like salt and pepper. I keep these out, they are visible, but they're very clean, and they just look really nice, and I use them every single day. And look at this. One of our viewers, who's now become a great friend, her name is Carrie, and we actually got to visit her in North Carolina a couple of months ago. It was kind of in between North Carolina and South Carolina, wasn't it? She was in the Carolinas and we actually got to visit her. Her father makes these amazing wood carved really anything, I think. And they sent us this as a gift, but it's a salt and pepper thing. Would you guys ever want to buy a Kinwoven salt and pepper holder? I would. Another really easy thing to make beautiful in your kitchen. I found this beautiful bottle at Home Goods, and I just refill it with soap because I love the outside of the bottle. And then obviously you can decorate with things like cheese boards. I have a beautiful white bottle of olive oil, and I also display a cookbook that I'm loving and some recipes that I like. And it just makes the kitchen feel complete, feel succinct and organized. I also use these really great pencil holders. There's one that goes on one side, one goes on the other. I just split them up and put them on these shelves. And I actually don't use them for anything. I totally could, but I just like the way they look. They add some color. And then I just decorate with my onions and my shallots and my garlic because I actually use those all the time and they're easy to grab and I actually like the color palette that they give me. The other thing that you guys can decorate with is obviously wall art. I really love that the art piece that we selected for that wall was a great like transition into the next room because I used colors that are in the next room, brought them into this room. That way when you're walking through, you kind of like get prepared for what you're gonna see. I feel like every kitchen should have some form of a calendar. I found this adorable calendar, I'll link it below, but it's just really clean and simple. Let's move on to number four, or three, four. Or five. We got a lot of stuff to do, we better get going. Number four, add a runner rug. I just got this rug a few months ago. It matches my shallots and onions. Hey, if you're gonna be in the frame, you can't be itching your butt. Rule number one of doing YouTube videos. You didn't know? She's just not cut out for the <laughs> YouTube non butt itching world, I guess. It goes with my shallots and my onions, which I love, and it kind of sets a color palette. It pulls in my floors that are kind of like a rusty maple color. It brings life to the kitchen, and here is something I recommend if you're doing a runner instead of a like kitchen mat. You're standing here all the time, you're cooking, you're chopping, you're washing dishes. Get yourself a non-slip mat pad underneath, and it gives you some really great cushion, and it really does provide a lot of comfort for your feet if you're barefoot. You can cut it down, you can Put two of them under there, whatever you need, and um, it'll make it comfy. Last but not least, number five, always bring some plants into your kitchen. So I actually have one that is a faux plant and one that is a real plant. The good news is about the second plant, the one that's alive, it doesn't need a lot of water because it's kind of like a succulent. I have this guy in one corner and this guy in another corner. You can tell if you look at my rug and you look at the plants, I brought the color palette in. Sometimes you can also do like basil plant or something that's actually edible. And I found this at Trader Joe's, so you know, it kind of fits with my kitchen food grocery theme. Okay you guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you learned a few things on how to make your kitchens feel beautiful and bright. If you haven't subscribed, please join the fam and don't forget to leave me your comment. What's your favorite? I, I guess it wasn't what's your favorite snack food, but you could also answer that question. Y'all know that I like gushers now, so cats out of the bag. Okay guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.